Fall in Texas means high school football along with homecoming games. That's a celebration of school spirit, which brings with it a celebration of community. Some of the earliest homecoming celebrations date back to the 1870s between Harvard and Yale. Baylor University held its first homecoming celebration around 1910. Well, we are in the thick of homecoming season here in Central Texas, so here's a look at some of the upcoming homecoming celebrations here locally. Belton High School and Central Texas Christian School are both celebrating their homecoming weekends beginning today. Temple High School still a few weeks away on October 22nd. And in the spirit of homecoming, it's also mum season, a tradition that dates as far back in Texas with the first recorded mum sighting at Baylor University in the 1930s. Barry Roy joins us live here at the desk this morning to share the story of a local woman who is hoping to create memories with her mums one weave at a time. Good morning, Barry. Thank yeah, good you. morning to you, Tahesha. I tell you, I got a chance to sit down with Annie, Anna Davis, uh, and she welcomed me into her home. We got to talk about her love of making mums. It's all about making people smile. She gets quite emotional about it because every mum tells a story. She's making these mums 11 years after she made her first mum for her uh, own daughter when she was in high school. Needless to say, these mums can be very labor intensive. This time of year. Um, I just bought ribbon to do Ellison. It is a special time in Central Texas. I just, I like working with my hands. It keeps my hands busy. For the last 11 years, Anna Davis has transformed her dining room table. I mean, when I was in high school. Into a memory making station for the homecoming accessory like no other. I am a one person mom making crew. It's, it's like a, a jigsaw puzzle, really. After you get your braids made, then it's a matter of how are you going to put them on here to where they look nice. Homecoming moms for girls and garters for guys. All those tickets hanging up on my cabinet doors. Those are all orders waiting to be made. Uh, 43. And counting? and counting. <laughs> There's definitely love poured into each and every piece, every weave, every staple, every bow tied on. That finishes that braid. Mums made in hopes of a smile and a memory that'll never fade away. It's just really special. That's all I can say is that they're special. And it's like I'm taking on everybody else's kids. <laughs> Crazy, I know, but I make them like they're my own kids. Is it's like you're weaving a basket. Certainly somebody that likes to really take it upon herself. Take a look at this mom that she made last year. Uh, this one is very special to her. It was made for a student whose dad passed away. She says it's a big reason why she gets so emotional making these for students. The moms themselves tell a story and that story can be very touching and very personal. This again made for a student. Her dad died. She was a big fan or her dad was a big fan of the Texas Longhorns and the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, and so she was able to incorporate both of those in there along with some lights and all that she made for a, a high school student in Georgetown. And, and I can see why awesome. she uh, gets pretty emotional about it when you hear the backstory. Um, I'm sure as she's talking uh, with these students about what colors do you want to incorporate? What does this mean to you? Uh, it can be very emotional. It can be very yeah. emotional. She loves doing it. And she said she'll do it until her fingers literally fall off. Wow. Well, we would like to see pictures of your mums. If you have them at home, you can text them to us at 254-859-5481. Stay with us. Birthday shout outs are coming up next.